heated gloves. Ever been out in the woods in the winter and your hands start to freeze? This is what happens to me almost every single time I'm out in the woods. My name's David. On this episode, I'm gonna be doing a review of these. These are the Sporvet heated gloves. This is something I've been kind of hoping would exist for a long time now. So basically what you've got here is a normal winter glove, like a ski glove. I, I wear these for hiking and backpacking, that kind of thing. But there's a battery bank up here. The gloves are waterproof and windproof. And then there's a line that kind of runs through here and it goes in between the fingers and up and down, up and down, all the way through the hand. So when all you do is turn on the button, it heats up your hands. I should note too, as I'm saying, this is not sponsored. This company didn't send me this. I paid for this with my own money. I just tired of suffering with cold hands. So it's pretty darn brisk and cold up here. For me, someone who uses cameras all day, it's so helpful to have a strap like this. So I can, it's kind of like a little kid's glove, right? Where it, it hangs off your hand, but I'm always pulling out my hands and I want to have my gloves ready. I don't want to put them away. It just takes too much time. These are interesting too, because they have like a little buckle here. So you can take that off if you don't want that, or you can attach this to some part of your jacket. You know, you loop it through and pull it through like that. And then you can just attach it to your glove. So it's always attached to your jacket if you want it. Now they also have a strap on the back here that you can tighten if you want to crank that down on your hand. There's also a little bungee up here. So you can pull that and see it cinches tight. So you can put that over your ski glove, over your ski jacket, and then cinch that down hard. And then it's got one of those just these little um, press things to release it. And how I mainly use this, there's the, the button to turn on and off. The battery's here. And you just push and hold this until it turns on. You see it's red. So that's one. Push again. Two three, four, five, and it'll turn pink. So pink is the lowest setting. So I would typically only use it in like the red or the pink. Mostly I just use it in red because my hands are cold from taking out using my camera and I quickly put it in there and want to heat them up. Um, these heat up really strong. So you put on red, these will heat up much more than the, uh, the socks that I reviewed earlier in my channel. Uh, the heated socks are good because they keep your toes warm all day long. But I think because your pressure of your toes is on the socks, they can't have the heat as high. These things, they really cook. And I think there's like a radiant heat that goes between the fingers because it really warms up everything between your fingers. I like this because uh, when my hands are frozen like this from being out like this filming stuff, I can quickly jam them in and warm them back up and then just turn this off and um, you know conserve the power. I can just use it to warm up my hands as I need it. If you're someone who's worried about the weight, they don't weigh that much, but you do feel them on your hands. So I don't know if you'd want to do like a super long 16 hour day with these. I don't know, I could see you just tethering this piece onto your jacket and having them hang or just like, you know, put them in your pockets and then you can wear other gloves and then when you really need to warm up your hands, you pull these out so they're not always on your hands. I don't really notice it though, but I could see after 16 hours, it might be a little bit um, exhausting your hands. And for that reason, maybe you'd want to bring those little hottie um, packets to warm up your hands. The thing is, those things might last as long as this, but they're not as cost efficient. They're one-time use. Uh, if you're not familiar with these little packets, you can rip them open and then you kind of scrunch them and the, they activate and they produce heat for a while. And then they're, after they're done, they're done. So let's say if you're doing a super ultralight setup and that was like a mandatory thing, um, maybe you're using ice axes all day and swinging your hands and you don't want extra weight on your hands. Maybe you'd want to go with those little hotties versus a heated glove like this. But for if you're going out for two or three hours snowshoeing or hiking, uh, I would <laughs> I take these every time now. It's, they're always in my bag because it's just so much nicer having the ability to heat up my hands. So you can wash these gloves if you're wondering. All you do is unzip this here. There's a pocket here. And inside the pocket is the power bank. So the power bank is attached by, it looks like a little plug here that you would put into like a, if you're plugging in like a alarm clock into the wall or something. But basically that just plugs into this. This is a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, something to note, there's a lot of different companies that are making these, but a lot of them try to slip in the 2,700 milliamp power banks, um, which just gives you half as much or a little, yeah, a little more than half as much power as this. So something to note, you know, if you get this, then you're going to get twice as much heating. If you only need a couple hours, one or two hours of heating, then you would want to go with one of those with a smaller battery. For me, like if I'm out there for a while, I'd rather have something that 
is gonna last me the full day. That's how that works. And then they give you a special plug if you're wondering how to charge this. They give you a special like USB splitter plug that attaches to both of these at the same time. And then you just plug it in. Fun fact, I actually use these driving here. It's, it's gotten really cold on Vancouver Island. We had a lot of snow here, which has since just melted. But I would bring these in my car and just drive with them on because my hands were so cold. They've also been great for shoveling the sidewalk around my house. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Sporbeck heated gloves. I'll leave links down below if you want to check it out further. If you also want to check out, I'm an adventure filmmaker, so I have many hiking films from all over the place, which are also on my channel. So be sure to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.